Good morning, buddy. Another new day. Does anybody want to go outside? Hey, Wiener, that means you too. Wiener, want to go outside? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Do I have to? Come on. So this is what we're uh, dealing with outside. We got another snowfall. One of those April snowfalls, you know, April showers bring May flowers. That's a lie. April brings snow. That's what it brings. It brings snow. What's that? Snow. Snow. We got about a foot. Over a foot in places. It's melting quick, which means that we're going to have a lot of water. Yesterday I spent all day working on the video called Our Greatest Journey Yet. This little guy here wants to be. He's not. You want to be center of attention, don't you? I just wanted to talk to them for two minutes. Is that okay? Do I have your permission? No? I might have to take care of this guy first. I'll be right back. I think we're good. He changed his mind. Slowly back away. Quietly. Okay, so I was saying yesterday, I was working on this video called Our Greatest Journey Yet. This uh, details the story of Brit and I's journey to bring Theo into this world from start to finish. Uh, it's a bit of a longer one. It's about 40 minutes long. If you guys want to go check it out, I'd uh, encourage you to go to my channel and find it on there. If you haven't watched it already, maybe I'll, uh, I'll include a little link up in the top here where you can just click on it. It'll take you right there. Or uh, after you're done this one, like I said, it'll be probably near the top of my uploads because I just recently uploaded it as of when this vlog was released. But we went all the way back through our vlogs, all the way back to what, number 14 something to 2018. And lots of emotions. And, uh, you know, I really forgot how much we actually went through and especially how much Brit went through to bring Theo into this world. I didn't even show all of the appointments. I just detailed some of them. I, I wanted to give a general story. If I would have filmed and showed every single appointment on this video, it would have been an hour and a half long. And uh, I didn't want to keep you that long. I know you guys are busy. You guys got stuff to do too. You can't just watch Trucker Josh all day, but I mean, you could. I'm not going to stop you. This woman here, she is a superhero. I didn't forget all we went through. What? Forgot some of the terminology and the prices of things. It was pretty crazy. Yeah. We're just uh, reviewing it right now. I've had to re-upload it. Well, I'm going to have to re-upload it twice because of spelling errors and uh, different errors in the video. I'm just sort of doing the proof. Proofread? Proof watch now? I love die out. They just continue to grow. It might be a little bit painful, but I'm, I'm fine with pain. This was we get a baby out. Uh, January 10th. I'm going to give you a little bit of meds to maybe get more too, uh -huh. right? Yeah, it'd be nice to get like 15, 20, 25, 30. And we only got six. 20 eggs. And, and only two were fertilized. And they harvest them. Well, they for medication, right? To make sure that they don't kill each other, that they all yeah, like, mature. Yeah, they die off, so that they all mature. And then they go in there and retrieve them. Harvest them. Uh, yeah, I thought retrieve was the nicer word to use, but yeah, they harvest them. They harvest me like a crop. So she's, I'm not looking forward to that, and I don't even got to go through that. 
But we're going to have a baby. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but by this time next year, we could be here. It's go time. And that was very close. So this was April 3rd, as you can see, 2022. Vlog number 2502. So I detailed that in the corner there so you guys could sort of follow along. And it was close. March 22nd, we became parents. Oh, did you spit it out again? Did you spit it out? There you go. There you go. Just to keep you occupied until your milk is ready. There you go. Oh, Is this milk ready now? All right, somebody. Yeah, he doesn't want that. He wants the bottle. Okay. Hey, over here. Steve. Hey. Hey, mister. Well, don't get mad at me. Look. Oh. oh. There you go. There it is. Oh, yes. So good. Look at all that dry skin, hey? Mom just washed your face not too long ago. I love how whenever he's feeding, he just gazes into the eyes of whoever's feeding him. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, excuse you. Don't spit out your milk. I worked hard for that. She did. Yeah. Got up at all hours of the night to make sure she had that there for you. I did. Twice. Well, I've got to make one more change. Tweak. One more tweak to this yet. And then re-render it, which takes about an hour. And then re-upload it, which takes about another hour and a half. It's a big one. It's uh, there. It is forty-one minutes twenty-one seconds. And then I have to wait for YouTube to do its checks and everything. And then once YouTube does its checks to make sure that it's appropriate for the internet, I can release it. So yeah, once all that is done, hopefully I'll have it released today for you. So you may have watched that video before you even watch this one. So if you haven't seen it yet, once again, uh, go check it out on my channel. I put a lot of a lot of work into it. It took took me a lot of time to put it together. Uh, and for those of you who've been watching the channel for years and years, it'll be a nice little trip down memory lane. I just came to check on Old Blue a bit. It's going back to the shop in a couple of days to get that new visor installed. Uh, we had to modify the mounts just a little bit. Just on the side there. I'll explain everything when we actually get it uh, installed and everything, but it's gonna look great. It's gonna look great. I'm hoping that in a couple of days it'll be a little bit cleaner outside. It is messy. See, just rolling out of the shop, it's everything just muddy. That's why I haven't completely washed and polished it yet. And I'm not gonna polish it until, or have it polished, whatever I decide to do. Uh, I was planning on getting it polished into this month. But we've been having some crazy snowstorms. I really wasn't expecting so much snow to fall in April, but I guess I should have thought of last year. Last year we had a ton of snow fall too. I totally forgot about that until we started uh, that video I was talking to you about before, going back in time, watching my old vlogs, and I was like, yeah, we had a huge storm. We called it third winter last year in 2021, or was it? No, 2022. I forget what year it is already. All these years just keep going faster and faster. Yeah, we had uh, a big snowstorm in April then too. So I guess it's not that uncommon, but all that snow we got is all melting now. Should be gone in a little bit. It's gonna get really warm in the next few days. I'm hoping it'll all be gone, but I'm thinking I'm probably gonna hold off on polishing this whole thing until probably end of May. I'm thinking begin beginning of June. I wanna make sure that the roads are clear, all the snow is gone, and that the streets have been swept, so that there's no more dust or salt on the pavement anymore. I just, I just don't see a point in paying all that money to get it polished and then just drive it right out into the mud again, right? So once the time is right, we'll get Old Blue a nice polish, including this headache rack. I wanna get that polished. But now is not the time. First, the visor, we'll get that up there. I've told you already about it. Uh, it was a, it's from Bullsnot, so it's got, once it's mounted up here, so on this side here on the corner, it has the Bullsnot logo. It was a gift from Bullsnot. And then the TJV logo on this side. I think that'll look awesome, custom etched. It's too bad about the mounts. I mean, it will work on the mounts where it is now, but it would come down a little bit low over my windshield and that reduces visibility. And uh, there's also certain specifications that I have to stick to. Unfortunately, in the US, uh, it can't be more than uh, 14 inches from the bottom of the windshield to the tip of the lowest part of your visor. And in Canada, 
the lowest part of the visor can't come more than six inches past uh, the top of the windshield there on a straight line from the lowest point. So it would have been sort of right in between there. So the mounts are being a little bit adjusted. I ordered it that way and didn't realize. So this visor has been like a year in the making. So I'm very excited about it. So that's why I went through all this extra trouble. You know, I, I'll just get it custom mounted. They're just gonna, it was gonna go flat down over the windshield before, like right down in front of the window. They're just gonna angle it out a little bit. You know, and if you're covering too much of the window, you roll, you roll through the scale, some scale, depending on who, who gets you, you know, they could pull you in and check things out. And I, don't, I just don't wanna deal with that. So we'll just point it out a little bit more. It'll actually grab more of the sunlight that way and give me better visibility. This mount's a little different. It's still gonna look good. It's still gonna look really good. The mount's fork would have come right down the side of the window frame there and just like straight out, like literally that far, like an inch or two, a couple of inches away from the window, straight down. And it looks awesome like that, right? It looks awesome. It attracts the wrong kind of attention to your truck though. So you see the way this one's angled a little bit further out, it's pretty much going to be at the same angle as this, I think. And it'll just come out a little bit further. Not too much, but just a little bit further. They assured me it's going to look good. So I trust them. I also got new mirrors to install because this mirror here ah, has this big brown spot on it. You see that? And that's unacceptable. You can't have that. So I got new mirrors. Where are they? Right there. Got to get them installed. I'm thinking I'm going to spend a lot of time here next week with the truck and in the shop. Before Theo was born, I was going to spend that time in here organizing everything, taking all that garbage out of here, cleaning Old Blue. You know, time got away from me and life is messy. Life doesn't go as planned ever. So why make a plan, right? Well, you got to make a plan so you got some kind of direction you're headed in, but just be prepared to change the plan along the way. As long as we get to the same destination at the end, whatever detours we take, that's life. One day next week will be the visor being installed. And uh, another day will be me getting all this garbage out of here. Finally, I'm actually going to do it. I, I, I'm making a promise to myself right now and I don't break promises. I'm promising myself and I'm promising you, we're getting that garbage out of here next week. We're gonna get Old Blue shined up, cleaned up. We're gonna see what the weather's like. I don't think we're gonna do the polish yet. We're gonna get the, the truck ready to go completely. We're gonna get the interior detailed. I'm gonna do that myself. We're gonna figure out a system for in the truck for this new camera and this new system. I'm gonna have to use my GoPro and the Sony camera in conjunction. Gotta figure out how that's gonna work. I might need some mounts or something place in there. I'm going to figure that all out next week and then uh, we'll be ready to go back on the road. So it's about one more week I think until uh, we, we hit the road again if everything goes according to plan like, like we said. But uh, we're falling into a good groove with Theo at home. Uh, Britt is healing up really well, really quickly. Uh, she's able to uh, pretty much get on with her life right now, taking it easy. You have to let that incision heal, not only on the outside, but all the way into the inside as well. Because of the C-section, it's, it's pretty big surgery. So make sure she's all healed up. I think after another week, I'll be ready to hit the road. Take care of yourself, old blue. All right? One more week. A little over a week here. We still have uh, about nine or ten days. Very soon now. We'll get you back out there. Doing what you love most. Get those tires singing again. This is a terrible idea today. I'm gonna wash this thing. This thing is filthy. Please wait. Yes, thank you. I, I am waiting. I'm not gonna drive through the door. Don't worry. Don't worry. Really messy day out there, but the vehicle does need to be washed. Didn't have to wait long, about 30 seconds. Not bad. Whoa, I always forget about those. There we go. I just got the basic wash. Pretty much just a, a, a soap and rinse and undercarriage just to get the salt off. Everything is melting now, so all the salt is all that was in the snow is all melting onto the road and just sitting on the road it's getting caked onto your car 
And if you just let it sit there while everything's melting and drying out, it starts eating away at your at your frame and everything underneath your vehicle. So this time of year, I I know it's not always possible. I always say that, but into the darkness. I always go to the touchless car washes. We do have another wash in town. Uh, it's one of those ones that you know has the the things that go over your vehicle and actually brush it. It actually touches the vehicle, the whole vehicle. I went through there once with my pickup and I had scratches all the way down my paint. So I still haven't gotten that fixed. And I brought it back to them and showed them the damage their uh, machine, their wash machine did to my vehicle. And they pretty much just told me, well, that wasn't us. That wasn't us, not our fault. So I didn't want to fight with them. I just don't go there anymore, right? I just go to these touchless ones. But I also noticed that uh, We're due for, for an oil change. I'm gonna have to get that done. Nice. Nice and clean. And this thing goes over the whole vehicle, drying it off. I like that. This is the co-op car wash in town. There's another car wash at the Super Splash. Uh, it's a shell. To be honest with you, I actually like that car wash better because they have people who will chamois your vehicle off after it's done. You go through there, the machine washes it just like this, but instead of like the machine drying it, you actually go into this little separate area and they have two people that'll chamois your vehicle nice and clean. So it's perfectly clean with no spots every time. I like that. I just wasn't in, I wasn't on that side of town. I know it's like two minutes away, but this is just a little more, uh, I'll, I'll, I don't have, a, I, I just came here, no reason. I like this car wash too. It's a good car wash. Just doesn't have the chamois people. Diesel. The baby's making sounds again, man. It's making sounds again. Well, what's going on over here? What's going on here, bud? What's wrong? Just, just squawking? Nothing wrong? Just squawking? Practicing your arm movements? Have you realized yet that those are your arms? Not likely. <laughs> he knows that these are his legs, that's for sure, because when you pick him up, sometimes he'll like kick him out. He can actually stand up already. Like he obviously can't stand up on his own, but when he gets angry, you know, when he's really hungry or something, and he gets angry and he kicks his legs out, sometimes he like holds them out. If you're holding him up, you can actually, he can hold up his body weight. It's amazing, he's what, 15 days, 16 days old? And he was doing this like a day or two ago already. He can hold up his own body weight there. I mean, if you would let go of him, he would just you know, collapse, obviously, so you don't want to do that. But I'm he's getting so strong so fast. He'll be walking in no time. We got mother of the century over here. Multitasking, getting everything done, keeping up with everything while I worked on my video. Tell you, that baby weight's falling off real quick. Yeah, you've been losing weight. I'm 10 pounds lighter than I was before I got pregnant. Cause I don't have time to sit very often. Good for you. Or eat. <laughs> I'm Working eating tonight. Busy, busy. This is a this is a little past the, the squawky that I was talking about before. This is more like he's probably got a diaper that needs to be changed. Poor belly, that's empty. That's his own time. Yeah. Are you hungry? Or do you just want to be held? Maybe he just wanted to be held. Can you say hi to everybody? Hi. You just want to be held? What are you looking at? Are you looking at me? Look at them. Look. Look, they're right there. You don't know what a camera is yet. That's okay, you will one day. Just wanted to be held. That's okay, I can hold you. 